everyone, it's Jack from Coltolics.com back again with another news update. We have news of some new matches that were announced for WWE Evolution, the first ever women's pay-per-view taking place on October 28th. And that sort of all came about because of Monday Night Raw and the happenings last night. So we'll take a look at those. We also have news of a huge return for SmackDown 1000, which takes place next week on Tuesday, which I believe is October 16th, I think, if my maths is correct. And also we have news of a potential injury. Is it a work? Is it a shoot? we don't quite know yet to a certain raw superstar so let's crack on with all of the news and let's take a look at it that was a weird ending to the intro so first of all we have news of two new matches that have been announced for wwe evolution well one of those was kind of an existing match that's been modified quite a lot and the other is a totally new match that came about as the result of a big old heel turn so let's take a look at the latter first as you will know if you saw monday night raw you'll have seen that ronda rousey was jumped by her two best friends, not including Natalia, Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, the Bella twins. Now it seems as though Nikki Bella is the one stepping forward to have a match with Ronda Rousey for that Raw Women's Championship. Ronda of course won the title at SummerSlam, defeating Alexa Bliss and has since beat Alexa Bliss in a rematch and it looks like her next big foe will indeed be Nikki Bella. I personally really like this, I think that Nikki Bella is far better utilised as a heel than a babyface, she's just more of a natural heel in the ring and she's also a pretty good wrestler too, we'll see how well she does in singles competition after to quite a while away from singles competition over the past couple of years. Uh, Brie Bella will no doubt be at ringside as well. Uh, and if she gets involved, hopefully she does okay. Because I know that she's been coming under a lot of flack recently for some botches, some little mistakes on Raw. One big mistake in particular, the Liv Morgan one, of course. But, you know, hopefully everything goes to plan. And it should be, if nothing else, a big spectacle of a match. Now, the second match to talk about is an interesting one because it was originally two matches and they've kind of been fused in Teddy Long fashion. So first of all, we had Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss. In many ways, the big marquee match of Evolution. But that's no longer in existence it's not happening instead we're gonna have a tag match which has fused the other two competitors mickey james and lita who are gonna have their own singles match into this feud as well so it's now going to be the two hall of famers trish stratus and lita against the two current superstars alexa bliss and mickey james you could you could argue that mickey james is a superstar of the previous generation too and probably also deserves to be a hall of famer that's probably one for the future. Now there is some speculation or some rumours of, of how this came about courtesy of Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter who suggests that apparently this was always the plan. This isn't sort of to make room for more things on the card as I actually thought. Well it does make room for other things on the card which I'm pleased about. More current superstars certainly get a chance to shine because these two matches have been combined into one. But at the same time Meltzer reckons that this was always the plan and that the Trish versus Alexa match was portrayed or promoted as a singles match initially to drive ticket sales. So if this is true WWE do kind of risk annoying a lot of their fan base especially those I guess who were looking forward a lot to Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus but personally I'm not too annoyed again because I think this makes room for other more current superstars to have more time on the show particularly say for example Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship or whoever indeed competes for the inaugural NXT UK Championship or to become the inaugural NXT UK Women's Champion. Moving on now to Smackdown 1000 news because next week we already know that Evolution are going to be reforming which I find a little bit curious to be honest. Yes, Batista is a huge part of Smackdown history. Triple H for a time was also a big part of Smackdown. Uh, Randy Orton, I guess you can make a case for as well, was, was a big part of SmackDown from time to time. Ric Flair, not so much. But I think Batista is the only one, really, who is a big leading figure, who would be potentially on the Mount Rushmore of SmackDown if such a thing did exist. But um, that, that's going ahead anyway, so I, I guess they're all huge stars, so I don't really have too many complaints about that. But this news of a new returning superstar as well is... Very exciting indeed, in my opinion. That man is none other than Rey Mysterio. Absolutely, certainly a huge figure in SmackDown history. Early SmackDown history in particular, sort of 2002 era, the SmackDown 6, which he was a member of. The SmackDown 6, for those who don't know, was six excellent wrestlers who really characterized the blue brand in those days. I believe I can name them off the top of my head. Here we go, gonna give it a shot. Edge, Benoit, Angle, Eddie Guerrero, Chava Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. I've done it absolutely nailed it. So yes, Rey Mysterio will be returning, which is very interesting given his recent appearances for New Japan Pro Wrestling, which are, you know, rapidly becoming WWE's biggest competitor on a global scale. But at the same time, I don't think you can really deny the importance of Rey Mysterio to SmackDown's history and WWE history as a whole, especially evident in the, his return at the Royal Rumble, for example, at the beginning of the year. So it may be a little bit surprising given his commitments elsewhere, 
But if you look at that return and how well that was received, I think this is probably a smart business decision on the part of WWE. And finally, more fallout from Monday Night Raw, potentially concerning an injury to one of their biggest and most popular superstars. Apparently, according to an official statement by WWE.com, Kevin Owens has sustained injuries to both of his legs in the post-match attack by Bobby Lashley. This was part of, I think, a double turn. Bobby Lashley is certainly heel. We don't yet know whether Kevin Owens is babyface or not, but basically, Lashley won the match and then returned to the ring and really targeted Kevin Owens' legs. Now, they are reportedly injured, but if I had a hazard a guess, I would suggest that this is a work to further the storyline and to really help heap sympathy on Kevin Owens and to heap heat, hatred from the fans onto Bobby Lashley. So if he is indeed legitimately injured, obviously we wish Kevin Owens a very speedy recovery, but if I had to put money on it, I would suggest that this is probably just part of the storyline. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this news update. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you want, at Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic generally. And if you haven't already, please do check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic if you wish. And also, if you haven't already, never forget, of course, to hit subscribe and to join us.